Hello, welcome back to BS Live. Today I will be trying this Blender 2.8, uh, the latest one, the latest version, which is, uh, they call it version beta now. And I heard that now we are using left mouse button to select an object. And I, I really want to try that, so I just download it. So this is still fresh from the oven. This is the older Blender 2.79, but this one is kind of bridging into Blender 2.8. Okay, so yeah, let's get started. So basically when you start, uh, looks like when you when you use Blender in the past, of course, you know that left click is this 3D cursor and this 3D cursor and right click is to select. So if you have a bunch of objects, right click is select, right? And then tap A is selecting all and all that funky stuff. And left click is this 3D mouse 3D cursor. Many people <coughs> doesn't like that, but I, I think it has its functions and if you have 3d cursor there you can actually specify like okay when you scale use the 3d cursor as the pivot when you rotate use the as a pivot things like that or it's also used as a placement for new object so that's a uh, really handy in <laughs> this blender i heard that left click is uh, what it is but actually see at the moment it's still right click because I'm, I need to reset to factory default. So I, uh, load factory settings. So go file load factory settings. Now this is, this is supposed to be the, the new thing. Okay, see, right click is now object context menu. Just like most apps out there, right click is a menu. Okay, take a breath. Uh, let's try something. Okay, selecting is left, so it's 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 not as bad as uh, I thought it's gonna be. It's actually pretty intuitive, right? You just need to switch brain from the older Blender to the new one. Um, let's say now you want to create Suzanne, so Suzanne is now always placed in the center instead of normally where the three D cursor is. But you can still have 3D cursor over there as a tool. I think that's kind of handy too. So that's fine. Let's go back to selection. This is actually kind of interesting, right? N normally, to make Suzanne smooth, I tap spacebar. Now spacebar is a is a playback. Wow. Maybe Control F. No. What is this? It. See, I get used to. Uh, what is the search now? So that's that's the thing I need to find out. But anyhow, right click. Maybe search should be in the right in the com object context menu. But anyway, if you want to smooth an object, now you you select an object using left mouse button. Scale it, rotate it, right click, smooth, and then you can control two and then add modifier to to make it nice. And subdivide it but uh, okay right click and smooth or right click and flat that's definitely kind of handy but I lost my I lost my comments and normally in the past when I I have Suzanne selected I and I want to smooth it I, I tap spacebar and tap smooth so what is this search button now uh, Blender needs a. Uh, I need to find out. But anyhow, for now, I'll I'll try to mod uh, model something. Okay, I have this a uh, very simple character. For all beginners of Blender, I recommend you to try to do this. So the idea is, you create a character, start from based on a plane, right? I I used to draw this when I was uh, kids, so draw just legs and two arms and just a head of the character the head can be anything it uh, i used to draw robots like this actually it's very basic but it's actually working uh, or you can create you can actually use the body as the head so that's actually really really cool as well and i have this idea to make like a this kind of character 
where the where the the middle part is my iPhone. So that's a uh, that's kind of cool, right? Cool character design. Just uh, gonna delete that. So you can create that as well using plane. Okay, it's still using 3D cursor. I will switch to active element. So you start with a plane again. Delete everything. Shift A in the, this is older blender. I will try also with the newer blender. And then you go to edit mode. So you want to go inside this plane. Oh, actually rotate this guy first. R R Y rotate it in ninety degree in the Y. So this is gonna be the body of the character, and then you go inside, and then here, you simply select the vertices. You need to understand there is a, okay, if you're explaining to a beginner blender, tell it there's a face, there's age, and there's a <coughs> vertices. And with vertices in blender, you can just extrude it, E and extrude, right? And you're creating the character's arm. And that's the leg. That's it, you know, and then you can go back to object mode and then go to skin modifier. And now you can adjust this character. See, it's really, really that simple. And then if you want to add, add the head, you can use Suzanne head. <laughs> that's actually kind of funny. I'll save this simple character and you can go back inside and add hands and things like that if you want but uh, I, I like to keep it simple you can you know tell them you can scale the skin modifier you can adjust this and if you want to add a neck you can select this and then you know subdivide it and you have the middle part uh, and you can extrude it for the head or if you don't want to don't want to use Suzanne back to this character extrude again and you get yourself a character right okay that's older blender now let's switch to the newer blender left click is now the default that's gonna be so weird Anyway, create a plane. We're gonna do the same thing. All Option G or Alt G to to uh, reset the position, and then rotate X. So, oh, where is the X Y Z thing? Okay, uh, rotate Y. Ninety degree. Okay, that's fine object still selected so I can just hit G and grab it so that's actually really handy of blender so and then go to edit mode normally I I right click to select now it's left click no problem uh, left click extrude 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 so we get our character and then modifier modifier skin modifier okay yeah we get our character so you can make a bunch of this character go inside and oh whoa so I get I'm not used to that still and this I wish I can go to the x-ray mode where's the x-ray mode maybe somewhere here Oh yeah, X-ray mode is really really dark on my computer. Edit preferences, go to Teams, Light Teams. Okay, where is the where's the background? 3D view, background.
Oh, well, actually, it's probably here. Background world. And for now, I will be using it like this. So left click, left click, select. No problem. I will try that. Shift A, scale. Hey, Control A, Control A to scale all this limb part. So you can create your character like this. Of course, this character is a. Uh, it has my own design where where the, the middle part is hollow. Oh, that's really. Okay. Background. Still getting used to all these changes. Where is the world? Okay. Shading. Background. Viewport. Theme. Ah, okay, theme. And this character. But this is a good start if you make a character and you can actually just get rid of the hole from the if you apply the modifier and things like that. But yeah. Still kind of tricky. Select is left. So if you click outside it's now deselect. So that's actually handy as well. Okay. Oops. Okay. Just now I type spacebar. That's usually where I get the menu, but now I, I lost it. How to get to the menu? I should have watched the Blender uh, tutorial how to get to the menu, to the search menu. Mm, maybe someone mentioned it. Okay, no. But anyhow, that's a quick rundown, you know, how to make your own character using the new blender it's not as bad with the left mouse and the right mouse button it's not no drama I thought it would be like really really hard it's not that bad actually I quite like it with the left mouse and right mouse I just need to get used to it and spacebar now is a spacebar is a playback for animations and where is my menu I have to find out control F no it's not command F Oh, yeah. it's actually command F. Okay, cool. Now I can go back quickly, edit mode, go to wireframe, select this guy, command F, that's new, subdivide, and I can have this. And I think this is a good way to model a simple character, right? Because you can subdivide, right? Uh, before you subdivide, I think I'll make a, another duplicate of this. Uh, apply the apply the armature, so we get this. And when you go now, you go inside. Now you have a little bit more complex design. You can select all this. I think just delete it. Oh, okay. That's uh, that will be, will be <laughs> bad. But uh, you can. Uh, you can do it like this. You can delete the face and then kind of cover it. Let's try that actually. Why not? Left click select. It's new for all Blender user. Delete face. And then select all. Oops. Select all. Tap F. Oop. Yeah. And then you can kind of cover the middle part as you like but I believe if I go up to the edit mode and then so I have this kind of like a chicken character it's not I mean there's a one way to design a character I guess it's a you can give it a try it's, it's really weird way to make a character but uh, I really like skin modifier and you can how you can you know start with a plane and then draw the body just like this character and then you just turn it into this character because it's really simple and you can teach a person who never used blender this way and then you can you can try adding simple bones and then you can quickly make like a character you animate it and then you maybe uh, 
in the next episode I will show you how you can create augmented reality animated character using this character all right um, and and if you're if you want you can also kind of duplicate this if you uh, rotate it 90 degrees you can go in and then you can now uh, create like a, let's see how to select vertices you can create four leg creature I tried this the other day it works whoops see maybe there's a bug eh? right it's a bug just now I couldn't select so a human character a four leg creature based on a very very simple design okay there's a bug here see pretty sure that a bug there's a bug can't select cool now it's back it's still in beta I can't wait until maybe next year blender 2.8 final with all some notes ability it's gonna be cool say so that's a bug tap tap edit back to object mode okay spacebar is playback command F subdivide you got the head extrude so you have this creature it's really really super easy creature and with my creature I, I put a just an eyeball there but it's a it's a it's a design right you can always improve from that and we have this mono random yeah so that's my simple character X I know what this blender should be called should it shouldn't be called blender 2.8 it should be called blender X blender x x is good uh, this is blender x left click is now select left click, left click is select so i'm trying to reprogram my head left click is select and the 3d 3d cursor is now here in the old blender right click is select okay i'm still switching between the two because i use nodes a lot and phew, I, I use sphere chop add-on a lot and i'll show you sphere chop this should always be enabled right because with sphere chop you can do crazy stuff Yeah, normally if you watch all my live noting this is what I like to do and can't wait to have this on blender 2.8 anyway uh, for now simple character okay and then left click is select spacebar is playback command F is menu command F you can type Suzanne oh, cannot create Suzanne anymore Oh, okay smooth okay shade smooth anyway select right click smooth shading that handy that's also work for the skin modifier so if you want to make this character you can follow my tutorial on this and hopefully you find it useful let me know what you think and I'll see you next time thank you bye